This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Again, and I am with. I am the Fresh Prince of Mid Air, Trey Miguel. Very cool. Now, how did you come up with that name? Um, so for a, a long time, I've been wrestling for nine years, and I've just been doing this underdog thing with that, like everywhere, and everyone's an underdog, and everyone, you know, fighting from under, and it's just lame and played out. And then uh, a few years ago, uh, someone asked me at a show in Detroit, like, "Do you have any nicknames?" And I was like, "No." And I thought about it, I was like, whoa, my brother calls me Trey or Trey all the time because of Trey songs and Nicki Minaj. I was like, mm, just call me that. And uh, that just, I mean, it's not a character really, it's just a fucking nickname. And there was a black one. <laughs> <laughs> but I did that for a little bit, and then one day I was working out with my uh, my dad, Dave Christ, and then uh, it just like, it fucking popped in my head. I was like, I was thinking about like, how what I do outside of wrestling, how I am, and I was like, how, how do I embellish it? And... I'm a huge fan of Will Smith and the show Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and I may have just been fucking thinking about that show. I really don't know, but it, it just popped in my head, and like I went up to Dave and I was like, "Dave, I got it." He's like, "What?" And I was like, "The Fresh Prince of Bel Air." And then no one, like Dave, was the only person that thought it was cool forever. Mm-hmm. Everyone fucking hated it, and no one liked it a year ago. Everyone was like, "Stupid, don't do it." And now, <laughs> so do you fly? Absolutely. <laughs> but that, that's why I'm mid air though, because I ain't no ricochet. Or <laughs> I just look like him. So, no. Uh, I like doing all the jumping off of shit and getting crazy and getting my gifts because that's what makes you famous these days yeah. because people don't have a long enough attention span anymore. So, if you don't captivate them in 10 seconds or less, you can just fuck yourself and wrestle, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is true. <clears throat> Are you excited about your match today? Absolutely. I'm in there with uh, three of my roommates who we are around each other all the time. So, I can't wait to super kick these motherfuckers for eating my cereal and shit. Yeah. Does that happen a lot where you just want to take down the right? Do you ever get really excited when you see a card where it's somebody you can just like slap your friend? Oh, absolutely. That, uh, Myron Reed's my favorite match, and mm-hmm. it's because I will slap the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> he is my little brother. He's like one of my favorite wrestlers, too. So I just like beat him up because who gets to beat up their favorite wrestler? You know? Yeah. <laughs> I think it would probably make things a lot more fun just being able to have that kind of relationship going into it. It makes it easy and it's, you know, it, it makes it more fun. You can get more ridiculous. And, it, and, you know, it doesn't make sense. It's like the better I know you and the more I love you, like the harder I hit you. You think like you would take it a little easier, you know? Oh man, he's got to work on Wednesday. Nah, fuck that. It's, it's, a, it's, it's weird. It's kind of backwards. <laughs> Are weigh-ins weird? Do you have to ever? Is this the only one you really have to weigh in? For? I have. This is the first one I've ever weighed in for professional wrestling. My chain weighed fifty pounds, <laughs> so I weighed in at two ten. I had to take it off. <laughs> You're like I'm bulked up. I was like, damn, I'm not. I'm, a, I'm like I'm small. I can't even do two hundred five live right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll fix that. Put my chain on. Yeah. Suddenly, <laughs> You're ready to go. Um, do you travel far to get here? Um, I traveled from Toledo, Ohio. I was um. This is the last day of a five-day stretch for me. Yeah, I wrestle five days a week, almost every single week. And it'll normally start Rockstar on Wednesday, IWA Mid-South for Thursday. And so, like, this last week, IWA ran two days in a row. So I stayed in uh, Jeffersonville, Indiana for that. And then yesterday, I was in Fort Wayne for House of Hardcore. And I drove to Toledo, which was, like, an hour and a half Mm -hmm. from there. Uh, here from there. That's where my father, uh, like my, most of my family lives, so I just went there. But I'm from Dayton. It would have been further from there by like a half hour. Yeah. How sore are you right now? Um, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, well, like, what's crazy is, is no matter how sore I am, I have a hyperextended elbow right now, mm-hmm. and this one is chipped from WrestleCon, so oh, like, wow. No, it doesn't matter what gets hurt. Like, nothing hurts worse than my elbows. And they, they don't just hurt all the time. But, like, it's my Achilles heel right now. And if you flick it, I'll just fucking collapse. It, don't do it. <laughs> like, I, I got it all, like, bandaged up and stuff like that. So, and there's cold, sad dick Radrick right there. And if he thinks about hitting me in the elbow, I'm going to 
punches Gerber baby face off. <laughs> he does kind of look. He baby. looks like a baby. He's like he looks like the little the little baby on the front of the Similac can. <laughs> Get out of my interview. You can't yourself. That's all, that's all. Don't even talk. <laughs> so you guys are really good friends. That's nice. No, <laughs> kind of nice rapport happening. Yeah, that camera's on. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> or to be over just poking around with me. Nah, just you that stupid smile. I, mean, I just want to like wear it on the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> well, good luck today. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you. Everyone was like super nervous about coming in here, and I just really. Like, we are not scary. I, I you look like you might whoop my ass. I'm not sure why. That, that's why I'm sitting. <laughs> they said I had to sit for these interviews. That's great. Dutters, we need to stand next to this man. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you? I'm six foot one. Stand up real quick. <laughs> hey, I'm six foot. Shit. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm six foot one. Yeah, you're six and that's why I'm seated for these interviews. <laughs> Dutters interviews wrestlers. <laughs> I won't patch you on the head though. I feel like that didn't do anything to like help me look bigger on camera. No. I was like, I should have been like, I'm so short as hell. Just... <laughs> you know, when you watch like people on YouTube, so you, you can never tell like how big they are in person. Mm -hmm. But now that that might have that might have given it away. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much. It was nice chatting with thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at the Trey Miguel. I have tons of content on YouTube and the High Spot Network and the Rockstar Pro Wrestling Network also. Very cool. And all the gifts. And all the gifts on Twitter. <laughs> Cole Ryder doesn't have gifts. <laughs> <laughs>